In today's video, we're going to be looking at this Bell Dre cordless window vac. And we're also going to be comparing it with the market leader, the Karcher WV1. So what do you get with this Bell Ray cordless window vac? Well, it's cordless and rechargeable like most window vacuum cleaners. An operating time of 30 minutes. It has a squeegee head, of course, like they all do, and it's supposedly compact and lightweight, and also comes with a three year guarantee. So if we compare it to the Karcher here, you see the Karcher's got 25 minutes runtime in terms of performance, and the um, Bell Ray has 30 minutes performance, so you're getting five minutes performance here as well. Also, key thing to note is the Karcher is far more expensive at this present moment in time then the Bell Ray, I actually managed to pick this up for £20, I believe, on Black Friday. Its normal price is 27 so it's still cheaper regardless for the Karcher, which is the Bell Ray, which is a good price. So let's see what you actually get inside the box. And we will compare this with the Karcher later on in the video. So you want to see performance and other comparisons, stay tuned for the whole video. And also hit that subscribe button because we are giving away two 50 pound amazon gift vouchers in our 100 subs 100 subs 1k subs competition which we're about 150 subscribers away once we hit that we're going to do a giveaway we'll be gaming two winners 50 pounds uh amazon gift voucher so all you have to do is subscribe to enter so let's take a look and see what you get inside of the box Okay, so inside the box, what you get, of course, is the squidgy that will go on the window vac, um, which is a light silvery metallic blue colour with some grey. You get the actual main body of the device. This actually reminds me like an older Karcher window vac. Um, uh, so that's very interesting there as well. This is where the water collects. Um, this is where you empty the water from the tank as well. So that's all nice there. This is where you charge the device. It's got a little cover on there to make sure no water gets in there. Uh, you obviously got your on off button. And that's that. Of course, inside the box, you also get your charging cable, which is one of those small bow pin charging cables. So should be fairly easy to replace if you lose or damage or if this part particularly breaks. And of course, you get your Bell Trade uh, manual and guarantee and user guide information on here as well. So let's put this device together. And you just push it in until it meets the body of the machine. And one thing to note with this, it does say on the top here uh, on a sticker, which is kind of hard to read, kind of hard to read, um, that you could only use this in the vertical position and not the horizontal position. Whereas I do believe the Karcher you can use horizontally and vertically. So there's a small difference there as well. Let's see if there's any power in here. So you can see the power of the device is charged. And actually you can see this little spinny motor thing, um, which is very, very interesting. So you can actually see the mechanics of it working, which is a nice little touch. Um, but let's see how this compares with the Karcher. And here's the Karcher window vac. So one of the things you noticed is a lot shorter in height. It also has a larger capacity for water collection, which is removable just like this to empty it. Um, whereas this one doesn't seem like it's removable. Uh, in fact, it is not removable. The only way you can empty the water is by removing this grommet here and emptying the tank. So be interesting to see if you can fully clear the water with this because with, with at least this one, you can take the tank out, place it upside down and let all the water drain out. Whereas with this, you might get some water left over 
whether that affects the performance of the device in the long run, who knows? I suspect probably not for at least a few good few years, to be honest. Um, the blade itself, well, the Bell Trade one is considerably a bigger, probably by an inch, um, or just under an inch longer, so you're getting a wider blade to do better coverage uh, and cleaning of windows or bathrooms or shower screens, anything where moisture accumulates, you'll be able to wipe this off with the blade. So let's see these two uh, devices in action and see which one performs better and whether or not this Karcher at £27, sorry, this Bellray at £27 is better than this Karcher. So here you can see where the bathroom here, so the bath screen or the shower screen on the bath here is covered with water. So we're going to see now how the Bell Ray window vac works. Now, hopefully you can see that. You can see on the left-hand side, we have lots of water droplets. But on the right-hand side, we have absolutely zero droplets and there's zero streaks or marks or anything like that. So actually, I'm really impressed with the Bellray, especially with the wide head. And you can see the water has collected inside of the water tank. Now let's compare it on the other side to see how the Karcher window vac performs. Karcher window vac, and let's see how this performs. And you can see the Karcher has also done a pretty good job as well. What I would say is the Carter kind of has left a few streaks but after a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry, they do disappear. They both work pretty good as well. And yeah, I'm actually really impressed with the Bellray window vac. And to simply empty the water, remove the uh, grommet there and tip over. And as you can see, any water will come out of the device there as well. It is a bit difficult to get all the water out, even though there is a large hole there. It's not as easy as the Karcher window vac to empty. So um, maybe that's just because there's a little bit of water here. If there's more water, it will easily come out. But that is how you empty the Bellray window vac. So would I recommend this Bellray vac? Well, at £27, absolutely. I think it's a bargain vacuum cleaner. It does a fantastic job. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is emptying all the water from the tank. You can see I've emptied this and there's still like water vapor in there. It's still probably a little bit of water droplets are gonna collect at the bottom. So it'd be a bit hard, I think, to empty this of all water. And of course, you'll have to leave this open for it to evaporate and dry out properly, which may be an issue. Compared to the car where you can actually remove the tank. I think that's far better idea. But for £27 or £20, as I managed to get it during Black Friday, this is, I think, an absolute bargain. And with the wider blade, it does cover a greater surface area. It has five more minutes running time than the Karcher. So if you're looking for a window vac, if you're looking to replace your existing Karcher, this is as good and if not better in some aspects as well when it comes to the runtime and the wider blade. So this is the end of the video. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe in order to enter into our competition that I mentioned earlier. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next video.